Hi, this is the third video um, of that Operation K mission in the last two videos. I'm just going to add to it. Um, I'm also going to change some things around as well, um, just to make it a little bit more, um, run a bit smoother and stuff. Um, I'm going to go to Udis and I'm just going to load the Operation mission up, Operation K. So here we have um, all of the uh, waypoints and all of the dudes. So they'll just start going into patrol mode. Now what I want to do is I'm going to actually delete this ending here. And because that was end one, but I'm, I'm actually not going to have that as an ending now. Um, what I'm going to do is I want a helicopter to come from a base kind of area down here. And um, come and pick me up after I complete the mission. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, Blue 4. I'm going to grab a pilot. I'm going to call him P1 just for reference. And I'm going to get a waypoint and call the waypoint hold. And I'm going to get another unit, an empty unit. And it's going to be an object H. And it's going to be, I'm going to get a, another unit. And it's going to be an empty air. So it's going to be a helicopter. I won't name them or anything in this. I'm, this is the easy way of doing it. Um, this is the conventional kind of easy way of um, one mission. If I'm doing multiple trips, like uh, if I did multiple trips, I'd probably do it a different way than this. Um, I might do that in another video or so. Now the next waypoint I'm going to do is a get in waypoint. And I'm going to have a move waypoint. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick an area where I want this helicopter to go to. Go to. So I'm just going to call it E4 and evacuation uh, point. And I'm just going to make it blue and I'm going to have a um, pick up. So that's my evacuation point, and I'm just going to pick an area, and um, yeah, over here, that's going to be my evacuation point. Now the next thing I'm going to do is do the uh, do another waypoint with the pilot, and it's going to be a load waypoint. And the next waypoint is going to be is a move waypoint, and then I'm going to fly the helicopter back here. For a transport unload, transport unload. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sync these waypoints up to my player, and what the the easiest way for, me, for that I've figured out how to do it is the first thing I do is do a move waypoint, and then a completion radius of 2,000. So see how big that completion radius is? It's massive. So wherever I go, wherever I'm spawned, doesn't matter if I'm spawned here, 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 or here, or even down here, this move waypoint will activate straight away as soon as the mission started. So the next waypoint I'm going to do is a waypoint in here, and it's going to be a just a typical move waypoint, but I'm going to have a description. Um, move into town. That'll be a description of the waypoint, and a completion radius of... Um, of 125 and I'm going to have a, um, a hint just move into company and the next thing I'm going to do is another waypoint and it's going to be a get in waypoint so once I finish the mission I'll be able to um, I'm going to call the helicopter in now I'm going to have a completion radius of 200 and a hint of uh, go to or um, move to transport evacuation point. Move to transport evacuation point. And so when I get into this whole area, the helicopter will land. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to synchronize get in waypoint to the load waypoint. And then I'm going to do another move waypoint and then the last waypoint is going to be a get out waypoint and I'm going to have a completion radius of 200 because I want it to be perfect um, and I'll have a hint moving 
back to base. Now I'm going to synchronize the get out waypoint and the transport unload waypoint. So that should be perfect. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to call um, this helicopter to go to that evacuation point um, when I when I want it to. So I'm going to create a radio trigger. So I'm going to create a radio trigger down here. Axis A and B zero zero, and on the activation going to be a radio Juliet. On the text it's going to be transport evacuation. That'll be the text of the radio call. Like I'll I'll show you what that means. But um, in the name I'm actually going to call this T two. That's going to be the trigger name, and I want it to activate when another trigger activates. So T uh, trigger activated. T1. So when T1 activates, then I can activate this trigger, but I won't be able to until then. Um, hint. Uh, transport is arriving to evac point. So trigger activated T1. Trigger activated, right? So this trigger will activate when this trigger activates, and this trigger is the um, enemy has been defeated trigger. So that's when all the op four are not present. But I'm going to synchronize this waypoint to this trigger, and I'm going to synchronize this waypoint to my get in trigger. So um, You'll see what that does. I think that's right. Synchronize. I think it's synchronized. Oh, no, actually. Um, synchronize this. No, I want to synchronize this trigger to the get in waypoint. That's right. Yeah. So, um, the next thing I need to do is I need to synchronize this transport evacuation radio trigger to the pilot and so down here where it says hold this will trigger the pilot to go there get into the helicopter and fly to the evac point but I need to make this trigger a switch type switch trigger and that'll do it so the next thing I want to do is so is I'm going to create my in trigger down here and it's going to be trigger 25 by 25 and um, I was gonna make it blue for but I'm not actually gonna do that I'm gonna group this trigger to my miles to player to that group and I'm gonna make sure that triggers when any of my group enter this area and how I'm gonna trigger this I'm gonna call this T3 and I'm gonna do yeah so that's T3 now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is to have a bit of fun with this I'm gonna create an officer say a blue four uh, men officer and I call them officer one that's gonna be in the description officer one um, just ungroup that and I'm gonna create a few of these guys here two, three, four. I'm just going to have a bit of fun with the ending. A corpsman, um, a crewman, uh, an engineer, and a, uh, I don't know, a scout, or a machine gunner. <clears throat> now, what I want to do is this trigger, I'm going to have Officer 1, Set pos get pos T3, that's the trim. And I'm going to have a colon and I'm going to have this and trigger activated T2. So this trigger will not activate until T2, the radio trigger, is activated. And I'm going to have a hint. Congratulations. And this is where I'm going to have a bit of fun with it. Congratulations. Speech marks. 
I'm going to make the officer talk. So I'm going to have officer one, uh, global chat, speech marks, um, nice work, and company. Go and get some rest. We move out at uh, 1300 hours. That should work. And I'm going to have a timeout, 10 seconds. So when I leave the helicopter, it'll take 10 seconds for this to trigger. Next thing I'm going to do is Control C, Control V, and I'm going to do another um, trigger. But I'm going to have trigger activated T3. And I'm going to have 3 seconds. So in 3 seconds this will activate. But this time I'm going to have a player side chat. Change the dialogue to thank you, Major. So this will activate after the officer says stuff. And the last thing, and I'm going to make an axis zero, zero. And the last thing I'm going to do is the end trigger. So end one and T three underscore two, T three underscore one, and uh, that'll just end the mission. But it won't activate until this activates, and that won't activate till this activates. And this trigger, because it says set post get post T3 officer 1, is going to stay in this area and will not activate until my group arrives there. But that won't activate until T2 activates, and T2 activ won't activate until T1 activates. So uh, I think that pretty much does it for this mission. Um, oh, one thing I've got to do, and I'll try and do this as quick as possible, I've got to make sure all of the tasks work so they all turn green. So if you want to play co-op or something or you want to make a mission with a friend, um, they all need to have tasks assigned to them. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do this as quick as I can, I'm just going to copy all of this stuff into here. So Cooper, now I've just got to change all the task ones. So I'm going to have task 1A for Cooper is going to be task 1A. Instead of player, instead of player, it's got to be Cooper. Um, task 1A and instead of um, task 2, it's got to be task 2A, task 2A and instead of Miles, it'll be Cooper, task 2A, and uh, I'll just try and do this quick. This is quite important to do this, so all of the players, so if your front guys die, the task 1 and task 2 will still be completed, even if the front guy dies. Um, task B, task 1B, and instead of player I'll have Sykes. Task 1B, and I have Task 2B, Task 2B, and Task 2B, but I've got to change it to um, Task 2B equals miles, um, but it's got to be Sykes. I'll just um, change this. So I'm just going to shut up while I change everything.
So I'm just going to go back in there and just have a wee look see to see if everything's right. Because it's got to be perfect. Here, yeah, see task 1B. I'll stuff that up. Task 2B, yeah, that's all, that looks all good. Um, the benefit of this is all of the players in the game will see the tasks and they'll also all of the turn green on everybody not just my player now I've got to go up here and do the same thing here we'll see so I've got to give them all four so task 1a is Cooper task 1b is Sykes task 1c is Rod and task 1D is O'Hara. I think. Pretty sure. And now I'll just do the same thing here. Alright. So. I think everything is great. I've um, My mission is to go in here and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a trigger and this is just an intro trigger. Um, I'm going to group it to miles and I'm going to have um, a hint go into company and take out the enemy and you must locate and find the co the commander in the town. And I'm just going to um, have an effect text, and I'm going to have um, kill the enemy. So that'll come up straight away. And the reason why it'll come up is I'm just going to do T4, and I'm going to do T4 set pos get pos player so wherever the player is it doesn't matter where he turns up um, and I'm just going to have a axis of five wherever he turns up this will immediately come up on screen as soon as I start the mission and all I got to do is um, player was T4 Oh right, this. Oh, I forget that sometimes, this. And now I, all I have to do is group it two miles. And in the trigger, just have activation any group member. So as soon as I preview it, it should come up immediately. See? Go into company, kill the enemy. And see that? That's the marker I said. Um, and there's the task up the top right hand corner. And if I go into here, so Miles has his tasks, go to Cooper, Cooper has his tasks, Sykes, Sykes has his tasks, Rodriguez, Rodriguez has his tasks, O'Hara, O'Hara has his tasks. Now you see on the radio, transport evacuation, now I can click this a hundred times, it's not going to work, because it's not going to activate until this town is clear of enemy. You can also bring up the radio by pushing zero and zero again or um oh it's miles the leader is um the only one that can activate the radio well i've made it like that anyway so you have transport activation on the on top left hand corner so yeah that's the mission i think shim um M. so there we have it insertions over here um, I've just got to like uh, something stuffed up for some reason I actually spawned over here again and I've just got to fix that but yeah pretty much all done um, next video I'll either play it out or I'll add some more to it cheers